Question 9 looks like the start of the big questions. 10 marks altogether. Uh, so, a purple is thrown horizontally at 14 meters per second from a window which is 5 meters above horizontal ground. The pebble goes over a fence 2 meters high, 2 meters away from the window as shown in figure 9. The origin is on the ground uh, directly below the window with the x-axis horizontal in the direction in which the panel is thrown and the y-axis vertically upwards. Part 1 for 3 marks, 1 says 2. Uh, find the time the pebble takes to reach the ground. So, if we are interested in the pebble hitting the ground, we are interested in the vertical motion of the pebble. So, we have vertical motion. Should probably work. Uh, write that down. First of all. Now, the job for Suvat, the ground is 5 meters below. So S is going to be minus 5. U, well, in terms of vertical motion, U is going to be 0. Uh, v is also going to be 0. So when we hit the ground, we stop. And our acceleration is gravity. Now, because the power is moving down, acceleration is negative. So it's minus. Now they haven't said what accuracy to go to, so I'm going to go minus 9.81 just to be safe. Okay, to see that, to find a suitable equation. Uh, so this one here will do, S is ut at half at squared. So, using that, we get minus 5 is equal to 0, add a half times minus 9.81 t squared. So we get minus 5 is minus 9.81 over 2 t squared. Uh, we can cancel out the negative, we can say 10 is 9.81 t squared. Therefore, t is the square root of 10 over 9.81, which gives us 1.01 .01 seconds. Cool. But to answer us to find the Cartesian equation of the trajectory of the pebble. Okay, so there's two components to this motion. There's motion in the x direction and there's motion in the y direction. So let's think about x first of all. So, in the x direction, we know that u is uh, 14 meters per second. Now, there's no acceleration in the x direction. So, a is equal to zero. So in x, s again is ut at 
half 18 squared so we're just going to get u t so here u is 14 so 14 t so that means then x is 14 t now in y well we know that the initial velocity u is zero and we also know that acceleration is minus 9.81 now that means then that our displacement in y s is uh, minus 9.81 over 2 times t squared now that means then the y coordinate remember the paddle is starting 5 meters above the ground so the y coordinate is y is 5 minus 9.81 over 2 t squared so we know that x is 14 t so x is 14 t tells us t is x over 14 so we can say then that y is 5 minus 9.81 over 2 times x over 14 all squared uh, so if we sharpen that up a bit we can say that y is 5 minus so 9.81 over 2 is 4.905 so let's just call that 4.9 and then we got times x squared over 14 squared which is 196 so we can say y is 5 minus 4.9x squared over 196 now we can even make this a little bit nicer 4.9 over 196 simplifies to 1 over 40 so we can say y is 5 minus x squared over 40 Cool. Okay then part 3 wants us to find the range of values for D. So this is the fence. Now we know that the fence is 2 meters high. So for the pebble to pass over the fence we need uh, Y so we need we need y to be greater than two when x is equal to d. So 
we need them. Um, five minus t squared over forty to be greater than two. So, if we add the fraction and subtract two, we get that t squared over 40 is less than 3. So t squared is less than um, 120. t is then less than root 120. Cool. But, of course, also Remember that the paddle is being thrown out of a window, so we also need d to be greater than zero. So uh, we need d greater than zero less than root one twenty. Cool.